Hello there YouTube, my name is Denise and I'm a registered nurse from Melbourne, Australia. I have recently begun some um, pouring, um, acrylic pouring, <clears throat> and I thought I'd start a YouTube channel um, called Black Cat Studio just to have a bit of fun and to show you my journey, to journal my journey through acrylic pouring. You might actually learn something, you might not. Um, thanks for coming along and having a bit of a join in. Um, what if we had a bit of fun and we tried to do a little bit of a mini wandering cup? I'm a bit hopeless at trying to keep the <laughs> steady stream going into the cup, so let's have a go. Um, you might end up laughing, um, I might end up crying, no I'm joking. Um, I'm not that precious. So the colours we've got are all global paints. Okay, so let's start layering the cup. So I'm just going to use a tiny little one because I'm only using a little, a small tile. Put some gold on top of the yellow. I've thickened the paints up a bit because I hear that it makes sure that the um, rings that you create actually stay quite like defined they don't tend to blur but we'll see play it by ear eh um, i'll try and layer a bit of white in between so the colors don't colors don't mix too much we get a little bit more paint out of it like i said i just want to use um use up what paint I've got here. So, I thought why not? Why not? Some purple on top of that. Put a bit of white. And then we'll pop a little bit of pink. Ooh, shot that too far down. A bit more blue some yellow which will create hopefully some nice green I'll put a bit more gold down <clears throat> so the mix I've done here is just basically the paint and then I've used just water um, it's actually distilled water which I have in a big container so apparently the chemicals can actually react with the paints over time Given that this is only going to be a pot holder, um, like a big coaster, I guess. I don't know what you call a pot holder. I don't know. We put hot objects. I'm sure you guys know what I mean. Pot holder? Anyway, um, I thought it doesn't really matter if the colours. This is a fail, I just thought I'd give it a bit of a go. Like I said, I'm all new. This is all new to me. Okay, I think that should do. I might finish it off with a bit of gold to give us a nice gold ring at the end. Because this will be the first colour, of course, that comes out. So let's give it a go. Now, my hand is extremely unsteady, as I found out. And I always end up with horrible squiggly lines so here if you go closer it can be a little bit better but not in my case Just start wondering this cup hey eh? can't even do a poor standing still let alone wandering but hey You don't learn unless you try. Oh. I think part of my problem is I'm moving too fast.
Okay, so I actually like the look of that. Give it a bit of a torch. All right. Give it a little bit of, shall we put a bit of pillow paint around the edge? I think we should. Just a smidge. Pop just a little bit around. Now this time I haven't splattered all over <laughs> all over my pour, which is what I did last time I tried to do this. I ended up causing a bit of a disaster and splatting right in the middle of my painting, so I've done a little bit better this time. Alright, let's try and slowly, slowly, slowly start moving it. I don't want the paints to destroy, I just want to separate some of those rings. The pillow paint's flow seems to be a little bit better. Don't want to go completely off the edge yet. Oh. oh, I'm loving those colours. Go back and see if we can open this area up a bit. Okay. Oh, I like that. A nice metallic shimmer to it. Didn't set up my paint stands, which is a bit silly. So let's just use some spare cups. Should only need three or so. Hmm, I like that. So let's give it a quick torch. Any air bubbles that may have popped up. This area here has muddied a little bit, which I'm not too happy with. I'm going to try and. The little hair that's gotten to the paint. I think I got him. I might just try and tilt that off just a little bit. That's better. Oh, I like that. Let's try and make that strike back in. Come on, come on, come on. Go, you good thing. Go, you good thing. Ooh, these colours are just magnificent, wow. Wish you could see them the way I see them, but with my lighting effects, which is none, not really seeing much, are you? Let's give it a bit of a torch. It's not so much about cells right now, it's more about... Getting 
bothered. All right. We did get a few cells in there, which wasn't intended. Quite happy with the composition. I prefer the stripe to be a little bit towards the centre, but let's see if I can get it to go. Don't really want to lose that purple. Yeah, I think I like that better. What do you think, guys? Let's give it a wipe underneath. I don't know if you guys are aware. <coughs> but underneath here, if you leave the paint sitting there, uh, it can actually pull your entire painting off the canvas. And you can come back in the morning and there's nothing on your canvas and everything's on the table. Um, we don't want that to happen with this beauty. Trot, um, let me take my gloves off and I'll take you down for a quick look. Um, I just wish this lamp would do a better job, but hey, it is what it is. We'll work on getting some better lights for you. Or for me, rather, because this is my journey. Um, you guys are just along with a ride down the rabbit hole. Down the rabbit warren, that is, pool painting. Okay, I'm just going to bring this a bit closer. You can already see the shimmer a bit more. Wow. Okay, let's have a look. Sorry about the hand in front of the camera. You can see the light glinting off it. Look at all that gold shimmering. Wow, I'm very much looking forward to seeing this dry. Doesn't want to focus, does it? There we are. Wow. Ignore the light shimmering off that. Um, okay, so that was just a quick one. Hope you enjoy that. That was just a ring pour, like I said, Global Paints. And um, yeah, thanks for joining me again. This is Denise from Black Cat Studio. Um, signing off and saying ta-ta for now. See you in the next one.